uh, as far as the U.S. commitment to France, <clears throat> as I said in my opening remarks, the French-led effort in Mali, if you go back a couple years, uh, I think had France not acted swiftly and decisively, uh, Mali would have fallen to the terrorists. It would be an altogether different meeting we are having here today. Fortunately, the French moved quickly, <clears throat> and we have also supported the French-led effort uh, with the African troops that the French are supporting, and we have no intention of cutting back one bit on that support. Uh, we will maintain the intelligence support and the logistics support, and we fully embrace the French mission there, as, uh, as do a number of other of our allies. Monsieur le ministre m'a assuré du fait que, quelles que soient les évolutions du dispositif américain, celui-ci n'aurait pas d'impact sur le soutien que, euh, la, dont la France bénéficie de la part des États-Unis. Il a eu l'amabilité de rappeler que euh, <coughs> les propositions qui ont été faites au Congrès en termes budgétaires euh, étaient non seulement confortées, mais même légèrement augmentées, mm -hmm. et que, par ailleurs, ce qui est tout aussi important à nos yeux, l'aide que les États-Unis ont l'intention d'apporter à la force conjointe du G5 Sahel serait très significativement augmentée par rapport à ce qui avait été initialement prévu. Well, to uh, answer your question about what do we do uh, post-ISIS, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, we are still in a tough fight. Uh, make no mistake about it, as ISIS has collapsed inward in their own way, they have reinforced the center as they've been forced into what is now less than 2 percent of their original uh, territory that they held. So it's going to still be a tough fight. I don't want anyone to be under any illusions, and we're together in that fight, and uh, we will be successful, but it's still going to take some time.